Yo, it's the bodybuilder in Thailand. Today is Valentine's Day in Thailand. You know, Thai girls, uh, they love the concept or the idea of love, romance. They all want true love. And uh, it's probably a lot looking for true love today. Um, one of the cool things about Thai guys is, is they're totally not, uh, they don't feel like jealous if you are uh, interacting with their women, like having a girlfriend or something. Um, one second, I have to make sure I don't get run over by a car. Uh, so they... I just now was, was walking out of my apartment and the guys that work there, there's three young dudes that work there about the same age as me and they smile at me uh, and they, they're smoking and uh, they say, where are you going? And I say, I'm going to UD town, which is, you see that? UD town, that place. Out, it's an outdoor mall. And and they say, oh, you go find lady? And they're smiling at me like, that sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, and and another, another thing is when you are walking around at night, like in Bangkok, there's a lot of taxi drivers, motorcycle riders, Tuk Tuk drivers, <laughs> they'll all be walking around or driving around or whatever on the street and they'll, they'll say, hey, hey you, I find, help you find good lady, I help you find good lady, boom boom, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, they're, you know what, they're the best bros, they just want to help you get laid, Thai guys, are not cock blockers. I can tell you that. They are not cock blockers. They want to help you get laid. This right here is the Udon Thani railway station. This is how you get in and out of Udon Thani. It's, I could go over there and I could hop on a train and uh, spend 11 hours on it and wake up in the morning in Bangkok. That would cost me 20 bucks. Uh, the good thing about that train is that it's a night train, so you sleep on it. You, you're only awake for an hour or two. Get on the train, fall asleep about 45 minutes later, wake up about 15, 20 minutes before uh, you arrive, try to sleep for 10 hours or so. Last time I overslept and I ended up going all the way to the border for Laos, and that that was on my video of, my first video of arriving here in Udon. It was a bit ridiculous, but I worked it out. There's this YouTube channel that I, I took a look at the other day. It's called Bangkok 112. And so Bangkok 112. And it's this dude, I get the impression that he's middle-aged, like a, a baby boomer, probably like around 50 or 60, but he never shows his face or anything. And he walks around Bangkok and a bit in Pattaya. He goes to the red, red light districts at night and walks around. I don't know how he does it, but he seems to have some kind of a spy cam or something that he uses because he's able to film people like go into like Soy Cowboy, Nana Plaza and go inside the bars and and still be filming like with the with the girls and the clientele in there. So uh, he gets actual close up footage inside all those places. He never shows his face or anything. I, I'm sure somebody would come and kick his ass if he did. Uh, but it's funny because you actually see all the people that come in and so you'll see uh, the you get to see the interactions the natural interactions going on between uh, the customers and the the women working at those places uh, and you know a lot of guys will be drunk and a lot of guys probably prefer not to have video of them on the internet uh, hanging out with hookers 
but this shit is out there. It's hella funny. And since it's like uh, this guy is, he must have a spy cam. There's no other way that he could pull this off because people would get pissed. But Bangkok 112, there's some funny videos. They're, they're not they're not like intentionally funny. They're just like a fly on the wall. And what you see as a fly on the wall is is pretty hilarious because it's it's like Jesus. It, Bangkok is such a wild city. It's such a unique city, and, and there's no other place like it. It's like it's. Even now, I've only been away from Bangkok for a month, but when I look back on it or I think about it, because I'm in northern Thailand now, and I think back about Bangkok and I'm like, Jesus, that place is crazy. Reading a book with my son. We're in this together. Fill up your gasoline on love. Let your inner self show. Love your organs. Don't overfeed, or you'll kill the fish. Cafe Amazon. In Thailand, I don't drink hot coffee because it's already always warm here, so there's no point. Get iced coffee. Iced coffee, how you say it, is coffee yen. Yen means cool, cold. don't understand what this whole thing is for but I'm just hanging out the best answer I could get from a Thai person is that this holiday is for a New Year celebration but we've already had several New Year's celebrations so I guess we just don't understand it okay so we're about to go fishing and hopefully get lucky and get a prize What did what did we win? <laughs> Go to this one. Okay, we got this. This number. So we go. Go there. It's the same. There, there. All right, got my prize for 20 baht. We got the 15 baht can of fish. Yes. It's okay. The people that watch my videos don't really want romantic. <laughs> Okay, sweet. Let's watch them beat the shit out of each other.
crazy. As soon as that guy got in the chest, kicked in the chest, it was all over. <laughs> Good round. Hopefully, someone gets the knockout. <laughs>
While the fight is going on, there's people in the crowd, and they they place the bets while the fight's going on. So you hear like uh, Song Loi, Si Loi, like 200, 400, and they uh, make the bet on who will win the fight.